Hey, what's going on people? Check it out. It's been a minute since I've done one of these quick lick lessons, but this one is a pretty cool one. I'm going to be showing you a nice little groove in a mixolydian mode in the key of D. So let's go. Okay, so that might have been pretty quick, but I'm going to slow it down for you guys. It's actually pretty simple in the key of D mixolydian mode. So I'm going to be playing G major triad. Actually a major seven triad. And then from there, walking up to the A. So G, B, D, F sharp, walk it up. Da, da, da. You get it? So one more time. Da, 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 da. And just for your information, this lick starts on the E of one. So one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three. And it goes all the way to the one, okay? So we're gonna be tackling this. Let's slow it down a little bit so I can show you. Two, three, four. That's the lick slowed down. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. That's very hard to say at the same time. So we're gonna start it off in sections that'll make it that much easier to play and to memorize and to retain. So major seven arpeggio. Back down to the F sharp. Okay, so we're gonna go down F sharp D B. So both parts together. Okay, if that's too much, you want to break that down even more. Maybe just that much, and then walk up chromatically. Okay, so add those two parts together, walk it back down, descend that. And then here, in this case, let me just break it down a little bit theoretically for you. So in this case, we have a G major scale. Get it? So G major Ionian, that's where that major seven arpeggio comes from. So. All right, and then at the end, it does a little bit more of a chromatic line or chromaticism inside of that line. So break it up into maybe three or four sections. G, B, D, walk up from the F sharp. Back to down to F sharp. D, B, A. Okay, so that much. So with a metronome. One, two, three, four, one. And just that much. Okay, so we're gonna work on the last part last, obviously. Okay, so those two sections together. One, two, G major seven arpeggio, go. One, two, one more time. Hey. So now let's work on the last part. So the last part consists of more chromaticism. So once you get to that A, so it's really a back forth, back and forth, maybe a teeter tottering type of movement from the D to the root note. All right, so I'm walking it down from A, chromatically A flat to D, G, D, and then F sharp. Well, I don't hit that D again. So. Okay, you get it? So once you get to the A flat, now here's where you hit that root note. So you go back up to the D, so A flat, D, G, D, G flat, and you end the lick there. Okay, so you end right on the one of the next measure. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Okay, so that's where you'll end. Let's try it again. Three, four, one, E. Two, three, four, one, E. So let's go over the fingering of that really quickly. The concept of this whole lick is pretty simple. Like I said, I'm using the G major seven arpeggio, which actually is in line with the key of D mixolydian. So on that four of D mixolydian, and I showed this early in the beginning, you have 
Okay, so it works quite nicely. So, fingering, two, one, four, one. Now you wanna shift to that one because we're doing a chromatic line on the D. Doing a chromatic line there. Get it? So, two, one, four, one, two, three, four, back to one, two, four, two, one. And here you can pretty much experiment with what you want to do as far as that teeter-totter motion. Do, D, do, da, do. And what I like to do is do, 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 do. I like to shift so my fourth finger can play that root note, can play the D. So once I hit that A flat, my fourth finger is coming up to the D. It's a weird formation, but I know where my hands are going so I can just have that much more space, you know, in the frets to get there. Shift, four. Now with the rest I can do second finger G, D, and then first finger. And now I'm back to the beginning. So make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. And if you want access to more quick, crazy licks like these, not only the licks, but how to achieve them and how to create them yourself, check out Bass Nation Academy. The link is going to be in the description or here somewhere on the screen. Check it out. We have live classes weekly. We have more tutorials, more access to me and other tutors. Trust me, go check it out for yourself. You'll be the judge of that. Uh, also, subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You guys know what to do if you haven't already. So I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.